Hey guys, this is Shimon Cypher. Welcome back to another circus video. Today I'll be showing my custom LEGO futuristic Deadpool and Vision minifigures. I'm um, completely custom, not based on anything besides their comic book appearances. Appearances? Man, I cannot English today. Um, yeah, make sure I subscribe and go ahead and check out my Facebook. Not Facebook, my Instagram and Twitter. Only Instagram and Twitter. Um, man, I messed up every time. Um, yeah, I really like how the series came out. Made both of these um in one day, actually. I was just in the mood to do some futuristic figs and just made these guys. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And let's get on with this showcase video. Alright, so futuristic Deadpool. And the helmet was the Lego um, Galaxy Troopers. Or I don't know. The Alien Invasion sets. It's been used in some other sets, but that's what I know him for. And, um, I just, yeah. <laughs> I painted over it with, um, a visor. And I originally painted it silver, so once I painted it black, I scraped off some parts to get that silver, like, scraped detail. Um, that's been, like, used over time, because it is the future. Um, yeah. And then I painted on these... I put paint on my finger, like red paint and black paint for this. I put some red paint on my finger and I like did that on both sides to represent like his eyes. And then the black on top of it. And then I, I did the eyes more accurate to the face. But I think that's pretty good resembling his actual mask. And some breathing holes. Um, yeah. The head. Probably the part that I'm not so proud of out of all these things. It's just, um, the Lego Hobbit, I don't remember what that name is, from the Lego Hobbit sets. I painted on some, like, paint. <laughs> some, I don't know, warrior paint on his face. It's not accurate to his actual face in the comics. I just, I don't know, I need the face, and so I just did that. Um, but I definitely like it with the helmet on. Um, this was the shoulder pads and, oh crap, and, um, the thing, just the thing that hold, holds, holds the swords, man, I cannot talk today, um, was a Lego Ninjago, um, like, um, thing, and it was black, so I, the same thing with the mask and the rest of the body, I might as well just get that away, I put some red paint on my thing, on my thumb, and just rubbed it all over, um, yeah, and then, just regular black swords, sword, and then, this like, I cut, um, the silver sword in half, just to represent something, and I put some, like, blood on there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, if I can get this back on, what else, take it out. Okay. Um, yeah. And you can see that. Okay, so I painted on some, um, black right here, represent, I don't know, something, on his black arm, and some red on his, um, hand, and then, same thing over here, black arm, black hand, with all these little details, um, and the torso was just, I painted on some body armor, um, with some bolts on it, and I was like, Sprayed on a whole bunch of this red. I don't even know what it is. It could be paint. It could be blood. You don't know. I think I think it makes sense if it was paint, like warrior paint, just kind of like the face or something. Yeah. Um. And then I used Lego Ant Man's legs. So that inspired this whole thing. <laughs> Not Ant Man's actual torso, just Ant Man's legs, like the continuation right here. So I used Lego Ant Man's legs. Still did the red thing, and I painted on the bits on the shoes. Um, but yeah, continuing on the side, and this one little detail right here, hold on, I have a cute little detail for the comics, I have the red, I have this D plus D, as in Deadpool plus Domino, because if you read the comics, you might know that they're kind of <laughs> a thing, um, but yeah, it's pretty much it for my custom Lego futuristic Deadpool minifigure. And now let's get on to the Vision. All right, so my Lego futuristic the Vision man, this guy is one of my favorites um, of all my figures, definitely, because he is an android, as you might know. 
Um, so I just tore them up, like, androids and the apocalypse, basically the apocalyptic future, just wouldn't go very well, so I did this for the vision. Um, yeah, I just took, um, like a Ultimate Spider-Man set from, like, 2013, the Beetle guy, I don't know what he, what he, what his name was, but I just sanded off his face, except for this one bit on his forehead, for, like, the Infinity Gem. Um, and I painted on the eyes, and a little bit of gold behind the eye to represent, like, the connection. Um, from the eye of rain, this guy's just tore up. And I painted on the mouth. Now, I took my drill, um, if I have it near me, yep, this thing. Just this drill, and I went to town on this guy, um, and his cape was a Lego Hobbit, um, cape that used to be white, but I painted it gold, and then, uh, same thing with Deadpool, I took some black paint on my fingers, and I smeared it on there, it was in, like, I don't know, like, oil or dust or something, or, like, dirt, um, yeah, I just sanded out this whole part, like, the bottom and everything, and he doesn't have any legs, that's why he has to be held up on this thing. Um, and I cut up this string, and I painted it red and blue and dark blue with, like, wires and this tube. Over here, I glued it up way up there in the torso. So I feel like his wires just spilling out because he's got his legs torn off by something. Um, but yeah. Pretty much it for my custom Lego Futuristic Division. <laughs> And let's get, let's finish off this showcase video. Alright, so that's pretty much it for my custom Lego futuristic Deadpool and Vision minifigures. Um, again, make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my Instagram and Twitter. Um, yeah. Really like how these series came out, made over one day, it's pretty amazing. Um, ah, man, I really like these figures. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, bye.